everyone, I'm Francesca. Welcome, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I have three delicious cozy soup recipes for you guys. We're gonna start this off with a potato leek soup. We're gonna make a slow cooker lentil stew and we're gonna finish it off with a vegan lemon chicken orzo. They are all so delicious, so good and perfect for fall in these cold months. Great weeknight dinners, great for leftovers and lunch the next day and you can freeze them and they are so good. If you're interested in pre-ordering a copy of my cookbook, Plantiful, I will also have the links down below for that in the description box. It comes out January 12, 2021, so you can just pre-order it and then get it when it comes out. As always, full recipes are written out down below and there are direct links to my blog posts in the description box as well. With all that being said, let's get into it. We are starting off with potato leek soup because it is my absolute favorite. It is creamy, comforting, and so good. So let's first talk about leeks. I already chopped up two leeks, I'm gonna show you how to do it. So this is a leek in case you don't know. You're gonna cut off the bottom and the top part and then you're just left with this middle piece here. Leeks can be very dirty. You can see there's some little bit of sand right there, but that's okay. I'm gonna show you how to properly wash them. So first you're going to cut it down the center and I'm gonna take off those little outer leaves because they were kind of getting soft. My leeks had some on the counter for a few days. And then we are just going to thinly slice it down the whole thing. Then we are going to transfer all of our leeks into a big bowl and I'm gonna cover them with water. And this is how we're going to wash them. Luckily, my leeks were very, very clean actually. It just depends, sometimes they can be really dirty, sometimes they're not. So you're just going to lightly shake the top and just kind of shake them loose and move them around. Don't touch the bottom. Any sand and dirt is gonna go down to the bottom, so don't you know, go down to the bottom and then scoop all that dirt back in there. And then put it into a separate bowl Again, do this very carefully. You can see the water's a little murky. Because my leeks were pretty clean, I only washed them once. You might have to do this multiple times. So let's bring these over to the stove. I'm gonna put in some vegan butter into a little pot. I realized my pot was too little, so I had to switch over to a larger size pot. So I put all my leeks in there, and then we are just going to let these caramelize and cook up for about 30 minutes. This is really important because it is going to add nice flavor and depth. This is already after 10 minutes of cooking, and you can see how much they've reduced down. While they're cooking, let's make some croutons. So I have some cut up bread cubes. I'm adding a little bit of olive oil, garlic powder, paprika, and salt to these guys. And we're just gonna toss them up. I love making homemade croutons and your old bread is perfect for this. And obviously bread cubes were falling out of everywhere. I was using too small of things. So I like to add the oil in batches so that way I can kind of distribute it evenly. So just keep tossing it around, add it to a lined baking sheet. And then you can also scrape the bottom of the bowl with some of the bread cubes to really make sure you got the oil and the seasonings on everything. And you're gonna pop this in the oven and bake it for about six to 10 minutes, not very long. Now let's chop up our potatoes. I have Yukon Gold potatoes and I'm gonna cut these up as small as I can. The smaller you cut it, the faster it's gonna cook and the faster it's gonna boil and the quicker you'll be eating your delicious soup. So just chop all these guys up. We're gonna bring this over to the stove. Our leeks are done. Look at that, they've reduced down so much. They're almost like a paste. This is exactly what you want, low and slow. And then we are going to add our potatoes on there. I'm gonna add in some water with the vegetable bouillon cube, or you can also use low sodium vegetable broth, whatever you have. And we are going to bring this to a boil and let this boil for about 15 minutes or until the potatoes are fork tender. Just, you know, you can slip the fork in there easily. And then you can use an immersion blender, or I didn't have one, so I just transferred it into my regular blender. Just do this carefully, and if you're using a smaller blender, be sure to do this in batches. Blend it up until you have this beautiful puree. It looks so good already, and it already tastes so good. We're gonna add in a cup of non-dairy milk, and we're gonna add in some vegan sour cream. Give that a mix around, and then you can add in some more water to thin it to your preference. I kinda like it to be thicker. If you want a little thinner, add more. You're gonna add salt and pepper to taste and then that's it. You're just gonna let the soup warm up completely and it is all done and it is now time to serve it up. I mix a little bit of vegan sour cream with water to make kind of like a vegan cream just to put on top. It looks so pretty. I feel like it makes it like you're eating at a restaurant. We're gonna add our homemade croutons on there and then I also topped it with some microgreens and black pepper and that's it. Our potato leek soup is all done. On to our second soup, we're making this delicious slow cooker lentil stew. It is hearty, it is satisfying, it is comforting, it is amazing. So just gonna put everything in the crock pot pretty much. So I'm adding in some low sodium vegetable broth, some green lentils that I did just soak for a few minutes before, some chopped up potato, carrot, onion, and celery. And then I'm also gonna add in a can of coconut milk to make it really creamy and 
really satisfying and good. You can use light coconut milk if you want or regular coconut milk. Gonna add in a little bit of water and then just give this a mix around just to make sure everything's kind of getting well incorporated and also to break down that coconut cream. We're gonna add a little bit of black pepper and then we're gonna add in some salt, some dried thyme and some bay leaves. And then we're just going to give this another mix up and that's it. We're just gonna let the slow cooker do its thing. You can cook it on high for four to five hours or until the lentils are soft. If you don't have a slow cooker, you can of course do this on the stove as well. And then I just took our top off. My soup was all done and it looks so good. And the lentils are soft, the potatoes are soft. Make sure everything is soft. It might need more time to cook. If it does, that's okay. Then you're gonna remove the bay leaves before serving so that way nobody chokes on a bay leaf. And that's it. You're gonna plate it up and just, oh my goodness, how good does this look? It is so, so good. My whole family and I ate this for dinner actually that night and it was really delicious. Add some garnishes and that's it. Easy peasy done. And that's all you have to do. And like I said, you can make this also on the stove if you want, or you can even use an instant pot. For our final soup, we are going to make lemon chicken orzo soup, which is another one of my favorites. It is so good. I just love anything lemon. So we're gonna start off by putting some olive oil into our pot and we're gonna saute our garlic. I just roughly chopped this garlic up. And then we're going to add in some water and low sodium vegetable broth. I just like to use low sodium vegetable broth as my preference because I can control the salt then. And the juice of four lemons. Yes, four lemons to make this extra citrusy. And then we're going to bring that up to a boil, add in our orzo. And then I just like to lower the heat to like a medium high to keep out a rolling boil and just to help the orzo cook. This will take about like 15 minutes. And then while that's cooking, I'm just going to prepare my seitan. So I'm just taking some cooking spray, putting that in my pan, and then I'm just gonna put in some seitan. I had this rosemary garlic seitan in my house. So I figured it was perfect for this recipe. And then we are just going to crisp it up in the pan a little bit. I'm just following the package directions. You can also use chickpeas in here if you don't wanna use seitan or something. So once the orzo is done, you can see it's kind of thickened the soup up a lot. So I'm gonna add in a little bit more water. You can keep this soup as thick or as thin as you like, so just do it to your preference. I'm gonna add in that seitan, but the seitan is also going to suck up some of the broth, so keep that in mind. And then I'm gonna add my salt and pepper to taste. This soup is very simple, but very flavorful and very, very delicious. And just let that all come warmed up, you know, bring it to a little bit of a bubble, and then that's pretty much all you have to do. We are done. We are ready to plate. How beautiful does that look? Oh my goodness, this came out so good. I love anything lemon, so good. Plus you're getting some vitamin C. So let's plate it up. So beautiful, so easy. And you could add in more things to this. You could add in some spinach. You can make this as fancy as you want, but I want to keep this simple, simple flavors. I'm gonna add some lemon slices and fresh parsley on top and a little bit of black pepper. And that's it. That's all we're adding to this, keeping it easy. All right guys, and those were our recipes. I really hope you enjoyed them. As always, full recipes are down below in the description box. If you like my videos, you already know, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all the good stuff helps the channel out, helps us to grow and spread more vegan recipes. Thank you so much for watching. If you were creating these soups, let me know, leave a comment down below, tag me on Instagram, use hashtag plantplaybased so I can see your beautiful recreations. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next week with another video. Bye guys.